Ever wondered why some plants turned into hunters while others remained as the hunted? To answer that, let's dive into the plant kingdom, where we find a unique category of flora, carnivorous plants. These are not your typical green leafy companions, they've evolved into crafty hunters, a result of having to survive in nutrient-deficient habitats. You see, in places where essential nutrients are scarce, these plants had to get creative. And creative they got! They've developed intricate trapping mechanisms, each as fascinating as the next. Take the pitcher plants for example. They have pitfall traps, a deep cavity filled with digestive liquid, or the sundews with their flypaper traps, glistening with sticky secretions that insects find irresistible. Then there are the Venus fly traps, famous for their snap traps, which close in the blink of an eye. So, in a world where most plants are content with photosynthesis, carnivorous plants have developed a taste for more. Now let's delve into the fascinating process of how these green hunters lure, capture, and digest their prey. Carnivorous plants like the Venus flytrap use a cunning blend of nectar, color, and scent to attract unsuspecting insects. The nectar serves as a sweet, irresistible treat. The vibrant colors act as visual lures and the intoxicating scent, well, that's the final straw. Once the prey is close enough, the Venus flytrap springs into action. Its jaw-like leaves snap shut in the blink of an eye, trapping the insect inside. But the spectacle doesn't end there. What comes next is a remarkable display of nature's ingenuity, digestion. The plant releases potent enzymes and employs bacteria that work tirelessly to break down the insect. Bit by bit the prey is reduced to a nutrient-rich soup, which is then absorbed by the plant, fueling its growth and survival. It's a plant-eat-bug world out there, and carnivorous plants have perfected the art of the hunt. If you're intrigued by these unique plants, you're probably wondering, how can I grow one? The key to cultivating carnivorous plants lies in replicating their natural environment. These plants crave sunlight, so a sunny windowsill or a terrarium with a grow light can do the trick. The soil they thrive in is nutrient-poor, like peat moss or long-fiber sphagnum. Regular potting soil is a no-go, as it's too rich for them. They also love water, but not just any water. Tap water often contains minerals that can be harmful, so rainwater or distilled water is the way to go. Now, here's the tricky part. Maintaining the right humidity levels is crucial. This can be achieved by placing the pot in a tray of water. But beware of mold growth, a common challenge that can be combated by good air circulation. While they may require a bit more care than your average houseplant, the thrill of growing a carnivorous plant is truly unmatched. Beyond their fascinating hunting techniques, carnivorous plants play a significant role in our ecosystems. These intriguing green hunters tucked away in the nooks of our planet are essential for preserving biodiversity. They thrive in nutrient-poor soils, often in wetlands, where other plants struggle to survive. Their unique ability to extract nutrients from insects allows them to exist in balance with their surroundings, creating a niche that few others can occupy. Carnivorous plants also act as natural pest controllers. By trapping and digesting insects, they help control populations of pests that could otherwise wreak havoc in other ecosystems. Their presence aids in maintaining a healthy balance between different species, contributing to the overall health of the environment. Moreover, these plants serve as a reminder of the incredible adaptability of life. Their evolution from benign greenery to cunning hunters showcases the wonders of nature's survival strategies. So, carnivorous plants aren't just fascinating curiosities, they're key players in the intricate web of life.